Now this is a very big story. Ninth qualifier, Anton Di Pasquale. He's only 23 years of age. Young Victorian who's got a great pedigree. He's been a very good open wheel driver. And what a day and a moment for this young man. I saw an Anton. Just his natural ability. I saw him probably in Formula Ford first, just how he could instantly go out the gate and be fast. And um, that was before he went to Europe. And obviously kept my eye on him over there just because he just he made such an impression when he was in Formula Ford that was that's watched his kid. And it is wow. a good time. It's a 50.7. He's peeled nearly half a second out of Garth Tander. He's off to a flying start, big commitment over the top of the hill. So I won the Formula Ford Championship uh, 2013, I just sort of the same year I finished school. So then I had to make a big decision in where I wanted to go in uh, racing. I decided to go uh, to Europe and have a crack. Um, we made a, good, a call to go with a team in Austria to race in the Formula Renault Championship. Um, managed to win that first round and then go on to win the championship the first year, which was, which was really cool. But supercars was always something I watched. Everyone was over there, I was always watching it. It was sort of still my favourite category at the time. Last corner now for Anton Di Pasquale. But he just popped it onto the grass at the end, but did it hurt? Not hugely, oh. a two minute 4.3. That is an outstanding performance. Yeah, it was pretty, not an easy decision. It was pretty difficult to, to convince Betty for one and try to make sure we could have a driver that could compliment Dave. That's very nice. He's been on a big journey over the last five years and you know, anybody that's been to Europe and done it tough comes out pretty strong. Huge credit, huge pressure on this young bloke and what a response. He's obviously a young, youthful character. Um, nothing really phases him doesn't really get emotional about certain things or um, doesn't show a lot of weakness in that area, so he brings that sort of aspect to it. That was a beautiful lap from Anton. Just bowled it ever so slightly onto the grass at the end. It bit him a little for time, but the rest of that lap was remarkable. I grew up in sort of west of Melbourne, so a place called Werribee South sort of a farming community out there. My family's been in farming for as long as I've been alive and previous to that, sort of through my grandparents. So um, I've done my fair share of a little bit of work on the farm. You wouldn't so get that up, you wouldn't get that up. It's too small. Yeah, too small. Right. These are artichokes, green globe artichokes. They say it's probably one of the best eating vegetable or best for you anyway. Google it. <laughs> <laughs> Google it. I think it's good for kids to learn where it's all at at a young age, you know, it's not, it's not easy as some people think it is, you know. Um, I think it's good for him to do a little bit of work and he, he enjoys it too, I think. Uh, he doesn't do a lot of it, uh, especially these days, he's, he's pretty busy, but um, one or two days a week is always a good, uh, a good break from everything. I've got the easy job, I'm just creeping in. He's coming at the front, so whenever Dad needs a bit of a hand and time's a bit Need to get some stuff done, I might lay extra hands, obviously, because it's a, it's a family business. So this is how Artie works for me to get to where I am, so very appreciative. So anything I can do is a, a little bit back. I see uh, my dad as sort of like a best mate. Um, we can talk about a lot of things and there's nothing I have to hide from or anything like that. So um, I think it's a special relationship, which is really cool. Um, obviously, you, you start in carts, you spend all those weekends together rather than spending it with your mates or at parties and things like that. So. Over them years, you sort of grow up together and sort of using them as your friend because you're always travelling together. You spend most of the days hanging out with them, so then you, just, you have a special bond and uh, you carry that all the way through. I think it's, uh, it's really, really cool. It's getting a bit harder these days to get him out of here, but he's got his own thing to do. He's helped me on and off since he was young. Every weekend or every second weekend, we're, we're away as a family, um, and it was good to spend that time together and. Those times that I'll probably cherish for a long time. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's all right. Getting to where I am now, it's obviously a, a reward for himself and also mum, who worked quite hard to get me to where I am. So to see them proud and um, happy and sort of still coming to all the races and supporting me from obviously from the spectator side of things is really cool. And uh, you know, we, we share all those special things together. From day dot, probably from my own experience, I always tried to teach him to be patient, calm, and, and think about things before you do them. You know, like the calmer you are, the, the more you can concentrate on what you're doing. That's probably his best attribute. 